Yo, what is going on guys? We are back with another Legends video, man, and it is finally time to go over the Trunks and Mai and Rosé and everything that's coming with the new data download. Obviously, shout out to the DBZ space and looking here, so Rosé is actually with the big boys, right, of the LS, right, so actually looking pretty, pretty good. Where is Trunks and Mai? They're actually right there, right, next to Green 21, who's also a very, very good, like, you know, banner unit that came alongside uh, Future Gohan. So, uh, yeah, obviously, let's start off with is the rose himself right let's see what he does let's put him at six stars actually seven because you get the extra stats five thousand you have 200k strike attack and defense i mean strike attack and blast attack 140k 140k pretty decent i'd say uh what else uh you know normal tags for goku black obviously um his main ability scythe will be a carve uh carve Wait, this scythe will carve a reminder into your mortal flesh. Okay, draws a ultimate art card, Ultra Divine Dance next. Restores own health by 30% and key by 50. Gain attribute upgrade minus 100% to enemy sustained damage cuts. Now, let me tell you why this is going to be a one-shot, right? First of all, you cancel all your uh, debuffs. Let me tell you why this is going to be a one-shot. If you're the last man standing and you still haven't popped this, you're probably going to one-shot with somebody with this i mean granted maybe not like a full health blue unit because he doesn't go type neutral but if you're fighting any other color i'd say and they're like close to death or maybe not even like half health right you're gonna probably kill more than likely you're gonna kill with this ultimate right so let's uh look at his unique ability wasteful castigation bro obviously we're gonna be seeing some fancy words applies the following effects to self when battle starts 60 percent of damage inflicted cannot be cancelled reduces damage received by 35 cannot be cancelled reduces enemy key by 10 when this character enters the battlefield additional damage to damage additional 10 percent to damage inflicted per enemy battle member okay cannot be cancelled so essentially you get 30% of the damage inflicted effects reset after character switch inflicts enemy with attribute downgrade plus 10 to all costs for three timer counts when enemy attack is over that's actually really really annoying I don't know why they like making Goku black annoying bro uh purging I mean he, I guess he was annoying in the show right wait wait go back up go back up no uh purging blaze nullifies enemy restores health when it reaches zero so obviously um he restores he uh nullifies endurance when this character attacks also he's like dkp so like even if you rush like if you rush future gohan he'll still die like it doesn't matter so that's actually really really good draws a strike card's neck when faced with an enemy so just like super saiyan 3 goku 15 percent chance to reduce enemies dragon ball by one when landing a strike granted it is 15 percent but that's like really really good knocks enemy back to long range so yeah he has a strike cover change that you could chain it with only a blue card so just like the uh red goku i guess so they had to like balance it out um 100 chance to inflict extreme breed <laughs> sure okay uh his uh blast normal uh divine black kamehameha deals massive explode damage and nullifies own fa unfavorable element factors by three timer counts timer counts now shout out to dr mold we were talking on twitter if he was gonna like summon or not after finding out their colors and i was saying that they're probably only gonna make it for three counts because it would be busted if it was anything longer not gonna lie a portion of the damage inflicted will also be hit on every other member okay hey, he seems pretty good so far applies the following uh effects applies the following self upon activation draws a special move arts card next activate once reaches restores keep by 50 okay wait oh and he draws a blue card okay restores keep by 50 20 percent uh oh, by the way he has a green card where you're like you it's like turles's green card where you throw something at him and then you can chain it with everything else uh 20 percent of damage inflicted gain an attribute upgrade plus 30 percent to the duration of bleed heavy bleed or extreme bleed effects when this character inflicts it on the enemy whatever you, you understand and uh cancel cancels enemy buffs oh okay ultra divine dance we already read this depending on uh how many people you have left it's stronger just like android 21 uh he does hold the strike buff card and nothing else and oh, bruh, bruh, please go up uh just like uh you know i I mean, I'm not really surprised he's future powerful opponent, and then he buffs future, and no, he buffs God Key and powerful opponent. Like you have to be both, right? So it's only like Zamasu and Goku Black characters, I guess. 
So uh, yeah, that's pretty much Rose. Now let's take a look at Trunks and Mai, who I actually like look forward to more than Goku Black in my opinion. So let's look at them at seven stars, 200k both attacks, 144k. Okay, so literally just like Goku Black. Okay, uh, main ability first. You'll have to deal with me. Draw the ultimate card. Strike for the future. Next restore zone key by 20. So you just you have just enough to use it. 30% of the damage ultimate damage inflicted for 20 timer counts. And then obviously normal timer counts will elapse. He does extra damage against regeneration and android. Very good. Applies the following effects to self when this character hits. Bruh, these ads. Come on now. Um. Applies the following effects to hit. Applies the following effects to self when this character enters the battlefield. Draws a special card next. Increases draw speed by one for 15. Okay, so like Gogeta, the red one. Uh, 10 percent of damage inflicted by future or Vegeta family for 10 timer counts every time this character uses a strike or blast. Restores ally key by 30 when this character is switched to standby. So they're like bottles, right? Uh, applies the following effects to self when battle starts 50% of damage inflicted reduces damage received by 25 the following effects occur depending on the number of battle members uh, what defeated 20% uh, to dam uh, 20 counts elapsed 20% 35 minus 5 50 20 percent of damage inflicted by allies so i mean yeah they did say you would have to wait 50 counts to get their like support ability which is kind of dumb considering how fast matches go nowadays but you know some of them do last long their uh blue card divining shredder deals major explode damage 25 percent of damage inflicted by allies so they're actually really really good support unit restores a key by uh restores health and well restores health by 15 key by 50 20 percent of damage inflicted for 20 for 15 time accounts 15 percent of special and ultimate move inflicted okay activates twice pretty neat pretty neat uh let's see if the music is back on all right there we go uh strike for the future deals massive impact damage gain an uh attribute minus 100 percent to enemy sustained damage cut effects for three timer counts so you have to use it really really quick and shortens allied uh substitution count for vegeta family and future by five and restores your advantage gauge by 100 percent bro really really good they are future and vegeta family nothing else to it uh, pretty sure these are the only two uh, units coming out. Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're going to be looking at this uh, banner made by Supreme DB Legends, right? We're going to be looking at this banner and uh, comparing it, right? So basically, Beerus is here instead of uh, Goten. Everything else almost looks spot on, right? Obviously not everything. So shout out to Supreme DML. He almost had the uh, mark. And they actually inverted the colors, right? Because Trunks and Mai is actually red and then Rosé is purple. Would have been cool if it was just like this, though. But uh, yeah, not really complaining. I don't really care. I might not be summoning anyway. So this is what the banner looks like. It's actually a lot of sparkings. But, you know, obviously it's going to happen. Let's look at everything else coming in terms of banners and events and stuff. Uh, we have this Legend Sans. Uh, who's Zenkai Banner is coming back? Actually, wait, is there no Zenkai Banner? Oh, Trunks and uh, Vegeta already? Yo, they're really holding out on Super Saiyan 3 Goku's banner. They're bringing back Vegeta already, which is actually really, really good, though, for God Key mains. I might look into it because I am working on God Key, but right now I'm actually working on Sans as well. Like, God Key is second and then Sans first. So, I mean... I mean, that gives you just more time to save, so I'm actually not complaining. So I'm actually really, really grateful that uh, he's not coming back this week. But hopefully in two more weeks, he should like be almost guaranteed to come back. So yeah, it looks like Vegeta and Trunks is coming back, which is actually really, really dangerous for um, uh, LF Gohan, obviously, right? For uh, obvious reasons. Uh, let's look at the story coming out. Uh, not that. Events. Let's see. We have uh, the dreaded Ginyu Force, obviously, with Krill and Zenkai. We have a co-op against Zamasu. And we also have a raid coming on Saturday with uh, against Blue Goku. Obviously, Rose is going to be the type of advantage or, like, you know, the best unit to use. So, yeah, pretty, pretty good. Uh, thinking about it now, probably Purple Goku Black, right? The base form one, if you don't end up pulling Rose before then. Yeah, but there's, there's going to be some crystals up for grabs, right? We have 1K from the missions here. We have 1K from the shop here. And then, you know it's looking really good and then all this is already out so 
it's looking really really good not gonna lie and we also have the 2k coming from golden showdown even though that doesn't end until three hours after reset and uh, yeah and then we have the equips if we could look at it uh equipment there's only one new equipment i'm pretty sure it's gonna be from pvp hopefully we can find it here oh there it is there it is nice the scythe will yeah same thing as main ability you get like a lot of strike attack and then special move and uh ultimate move right so you actually do want to grind them if you do uh, you do want to grind it if you do pull rose and that's actually pretty much it for this week's update we ha we do have a couple thousand crystals up for grabs pretty pretty good trunks and my rose coming out i'm actually really excited for trunks and my if i do pull it is going to be the, with the intention of pulling them because i do need a good red future unit not really purple but i'll take them obviously right so yeah if you guys did enjoy man make sure you guys smash that subscribe button man smash that like button man I'll see you guys in the next one. Good luck if you're summoning. And yeah, peace.